Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Battalion Beyond Metals model. That's right. It got its own shape and model this year instead of just being an add-on with something else from the Battalion line. This board features good old-fashioned traditional camber with 3BT and Sidekick technology. So with that traditional camber, you get the load, pop, snap, and drive out of the arc of it. Basically load it up and you're going to get power in some way, shape, or form. With that 3BT and Sidekick, that actually spoons out the nose and the tail. This is going to help with powder float as it funnels it out. It also reduces edge catches at the tips. This makes it a little less hooky and it brings in the drive and steer factors closer underfoot so you do a little bit more ankle steering. This board is available at 151, 154, 156, 158 wide, 159, 161 wide, 164 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with average temps. You had perfect corduroy chop, chunder, little leftover pow for good measure, basically perfect conditions to ride a board like this. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The overall flex of this board comes in past middle of the road. It's not stiff and planky, but it is stiffer. And you do have tiny little sweet spots in the nose and the tail that have a little bit more give, but it's progressively stiffer through the middle with an okay amount of torsional flex, like you really feel that rebound of the board when you're ankle steering with it. What's nice about this board though, is the stability. In really rutted out choppy terrain, you might get some vibration that comes up under foot, but that's only if it's super firm and hard. If it's soft or snow, you don't feel anything and this board just plows through everything. You can feel it hitting that nose, being funneled out by that 3BT and just letting you get on your way. Basically, this board is stable where it counts and instable where every other board would probably fail as well, but it still tends to be a little bit more stable. There's an abundance of camber in this board. So when you load it up, you roll back on the tail, it engages those carbon rods and you pop. This board has boost. That's all you really need to know. You want to launch a roller, side hit, cat track gap, you're going to get in the air. The more you put in, the more you get out of it. And when it comes to jumps, if you think about who this board is actually designed for, small, medium, large, it wants to get you in the air. You want to be lazy and let the lip throw you, you're still going huge. You want to load it up, you're going even bigger than huge. You might be taking it up to the stratosphere. This board wants to get in the air. So we know that this board's stiff and the sweet spots in the nose and the tail are smaller. That means you're going to have to work for a butter out of this. Now there's nothing wrong with that, just be aware of it. That sweet spot is so small, you have to be a little more calculated when you get up on your nose or your tail. You do have that 3BT and sidekick technology to help bevel it out so that that way it's not as catchy. Just understand, it's going to want to set itself down on the ground. So if you're really aggressive with it, it just means you're going to get more snap out of it. If you're not, well, you're probably going to hook, die, and then you're dead. No, well, when it comes to jibbing, it's the same thing. A little speed goes a long way with this board. When you're in a tail press or a nose press, it wants to slap down. So press a little bit harder, go a little bit faster. When you go sideways, that camber basically balances on the feature. It doesn't really clap around it or hug it. It just sort of balances on it. And you'll notice that you kind of get that teeter totter effect with it. So, you know, go a little faster, do your thing. This board has a fluid and effortless edge to edge power transmission. You don't have to worry about it. It's smooth. It goes from toe to heel with ease. Now with that said, one thing I noticed was if I got into firmer or icier snow, it did more of a skidded turn than a carve, but softer snow, this thing would lay a trench. I never had to worry about it. You do lose some of that bite at the contact points just because of the 3BT and it brings it back more underfoot. So you do end up ankle steering more with this board, which is great. When you crank it in soft snow on edge, you can lay this board over. Short, tight, quick carves, medium, mellow carves, long, hard, drawn out ones, it completely has you covered. This board can carve and you get that power of traditional camber to push it off the tail and slingshot you out of a turn. Who's this board for? The hard charging all mountain freestyle guy that does a little bit of everything. This board turns well. There is no issue with that. I found myself snaking all over the mountain with it, just laying turns wherever I could. It was only if I got into really crusty, icy stuff, I lost a little bit of edge bite out at the tip and the tail where the contact point is. 
you have to ankle steer this board. The pop is absolutely immense. And if you're riding pile, you do have that slam back insert so that you can set it further back to just give you more nose than tail to help get it up on top of the pow. Overall, this thing is awesome. I like the shape, I like the way it rides. I think a lot of people love the Beyond Metals crew, should be checking this out. Is it gonna be for everyone? No, but for the right rider, it will be. Comparable boards, the Rome Stale Cruiser, the Ride Super Pig, the Karua Transition Finder. Binding recommendations, the Battalion Astro Full Wrap, the Ride C8, the Now Select Pros. This has been my review of the Battalion Beyond Metal Snowboard. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.